Okay, so we have some developments in the search for Evelyn Boswell. The brother of Evelyn's mother, Maggie or Megan, his trailer was searched today and property. So let's go over that and then we'll talk a little bit about the proposed Evelyn's Law and also a KFC sighting of the child possible. So Friday, February 28th, the search continues for 15-month-old baby Evelyn Boswell. Investigators conducted a planned search at a trailer park near Boone Lake. Media found property tax rec records indicating that the trailer park Lakeshore RV Park on Buffalo Road is owned by Tommy Boswell Jr. Tommy is the brother of 18-year-old Megan Boswell, Evelyn's mother. Okay, they are searching a trailer here related to baby Evelyn. And you'll see the TBI. And some toolbox type things there. Stuff coming out. Looks like an evidence. Is that an evidence bag that the guy in blue is carrying? They look like they've been under that trailer as they've taken the boards off. So we Okay, so we have a possible sighting at KFC a few weeks ago. A Yadkinville KFC employee believes that she saw missing 15-month-old Evelyn Boswell at KFC where, KFC where she works, but since there was no Amber Alert, she did not report anything at that time. However, now Ashley Hutchins reported the sighting to the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation on Tuesday to tell them that she thinks the young girl she served applesauce today, that day, is Evelyn. The employee said that she has tattoos, so she notices them, and that made her first notice William McLeod, who is with who she believes is Angela Boswell, that would be the grandmother of Evelyn, and to quote, I first recognized the boyfriend, I have tattoos, so I look at everybody's tattoos and face, fe and face features and stuff. I'm really good at remembering people's faces. I remember the tattoo on his neck, it was like words or something, and then I remember the cross on his face. She said Evelyn seemed happy and comfortable that day. She had blonde hair, blue eyes, I mean, pretty little bow in her hair like popped up, said Hutchins. I can't remember what shirt she had on. It was basically like black leggings. She had one shoe on, one shoe off. Shoes were white and pink. That was basically it. Just a beautiful smile, beautiful eyes, and blonde hair, as you could tell. Hutchins said the three came to lunch in a silver car. Remember, they were missing in a silver car. They paid cash. They didn't order food for the child. Since there wasn't an Amber Alert at the time, she didn't think much of it, but looking back, she thinks something was off. It just kind of crossed my mind that something wasn't right with the whole situation. Yatkinville police said they were investigating a tip in regards to a possible sighting of the child at a KFC. I called the TBI on Tuesday and told them about it and everything like that, and they got all my information and stuff. I guess they called my general manager and talked to him about coming and they to sit down and watch the film but I reported it Tuesday and they reported it I guess to Yadkin County. TBI said the surveillance video has been reviewed at several locations in the last week and they did get a tip about a possible sighting at a restaurant in North Carolina. The mother Megan Boswell has been charged with false reporting. Even if it wasn't her and it was someone that looked like her, it would be better to at least call it in to be 100% truer than not say a word, said Hutchins, absolutely. 
If you have any information on where Evelyn Boswell could be, call 1-800-TBI-FIND. Now there's a proposed Evelyn's Law, a proposed change to state law inspired by the ongoing search for a missing Tennessee girl would increase penalties against parents or guardians who fail to quickly report a missing child to law enforcement. Representative Timothy Hill and State Rep. John Crawford and State Rep. Bud Hulsey are proposing Evelyn's Law in honor of 15-month-old Evelyn Boswell. The legislation is the result of ongoing conversations with the Sullivan County Sheriff Jeff Cassidy and his input and feedback has helped us create a solution that may be extremely beneficial in these specific instances, says Representative Hill. While we continue to pray for little Evelyn's safe return, we must continue our work strengthening state laws so we can hold those with no regard for the well-being or safety of their children accountable for their reckless behavior. If passed, the updated law would require parents or guardians to verbally report a child in their care missing if they have been abducted or have run away within 48 hours of that child's disappearance, followed by a written report as requested by law enforcement. The law would apply when the parent or guardian doesn't know where the child is. Situations where there is knowledge that a child has been abducted, has suffered serious bodily harm, abuse, sexual exploitation, or who has run away would also be included in reporting requirements outlawed under Evelyn's Law, according to a press release.